It all started with one person's interest. How many rabbits would you produce in a year? Today, the basis of this answer is used to describe the shape of galaxies. About 800 years ago, in the year 1202, an Italian mathematician, Leonardo Pisano Bigolo, came up with a sequence of numbers. This sequence of numbers, known as Fibonacci series, went on to explain many mysteries of nature. Many ancient monuments, the Great Pyramids, the Taj Mahal, the masterpiece artworks of Leonardo da Vinci, even the modern architect of UN building, all seem to follow the beauty of golden wish. What is this Fibonacci series? Let's take two numbers, 0 and 1. Generate the next number by adding the previous two. We get a series 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and so on. This series generated is called the Fibonacci series. Soon these numbers began to appear all around in nature. Let's look at the flowers. You will find the ones with two petals, with three petals or with five. Lily has 21 petals. And it's not a coincidence that all these numbers appear in Fibonacci series. It doesn't end here. The branching of trees, the leaves of cabbage, the inside of banana, or the arms of starfish. Everywhere, Fibonacci numbers seem to rule. Soon people started to wonder, why? In biological terms, the organism seemed to evolve in a way which benefits it. When people investigated, they got to know about a very important property of the Fibonacci numbers. For a given fixed space, the Fibonacci arrangement provides the maximum use of that space. It's this efficient arrangement that we see in case of petals or the cabbage leaves. In case of branching of trees, it provides the best physical arrangement while providing the maximum exposure to the sun. These small benefits get selected over generations and form the trait of an organism. Towards the end of 19th century, many mysteries of nature were explained using the Fibonacci number. But Fibonacci series had more in store. The golden spiral and golden ratio generated interest in the scientific community. If you form squares of length equal to Fibonacci numbers and arrange them in specific order, they lead to the formation of what we call the golden spiral. You can't help noticing the spiral arrangement all around you. Let's look at the sunflower. While its petals are arranged in the food Fibonacci number 21 or 44, the seeds are arranged in the golden spiral. The golden spiral also provides the efficient arrangement. It's for the same reason the seashells, the pine cones or the pineapples all show the similar arrangement. In 2010, the Science Journal reported that the golden spiral is present even at the atomic scale in the magnetic spin resonance of some crystals. And just when you thought it's enough for the day, Fibonacci series had more in store. The ratio of two consecutive Fibonacci numbers is always very close to 1.618, the number 5. This ratio, called the golden ratio, is always more appealing to human eyes in geometric shapes. Many ancient architects unknowingly made use of this golden ratio. From the spiral DNA molecule to the hand-to-arm ratio of humans, from the famous Mona Lisa painting to the UN headquarter building architect, from the spiral tornado to the spiral shape of galaxies, everywhere we encounter the Fibonacci arrangement. Nature is not just a random collection of things. One way to explain the appearance of Fibonacci arrangement so often in nature is because it provides the best use of energy and resources with maximum efficiency. That's what nature is, and that's what Fibonacci nature provides.